it's Zena, Warthog Princess. And this video is gonna be a what's in my bag, but with a twist. What we're gonna do is walk through my process. I've had a lot of questions about how I decide what bags to use or what accessories and whatnot. So I'll just walk you through it today and show you what I do and how I do it. Here it goes. So the process normally starts with getting dressed and then I'll go to the Vera closet and pick the purse, if you will. I have to admit, today I already know what I want, but I'll show you what I do anyways. I open the door, and I stand back, and I scan the shelves. Do I want a small, do I want a purse backpack, do I want a medium, or down on the bottom are the larger ones. And I don't want any of those today, but like I said, I already know what I want. Um, there's Lucy, she's helping, and here's Kelly too. They're following me around like shadows. Uh, Anyway, so I'm going to close this up because we're not going to need to get in there right now. And let's go to the Vera room because I know what I want. Okay, so let's go in the Vera room and get that bag. The good thing is the accessories are in here as well. So it's one-stop shop. I know the lighting's not that great, but we're not going to be in here long because I'm going straight for the small tote, the Midtown small tote. So there's a, a bit of a look at it in the light. And it has a, a shoulder crossbody strap. So let's think about what we're going to do today. We've got pink, pink and black inside with the black and gray outside. And then I have to look at the accessories and decide, am I thinking matchy matchy or mixy matchy? And since we're talking black, I have to decide, see I have blacks and whites or do I want to go colors and blacks? Today, I'm feeling like a mixy mixy with colors and blacks. So I'm going to go for this wildflower garden. This is a cosmetic trio from the outlet. And I'm just going to throw that in. Oops, sorry for my filming here. I'm going to throw that inside the tote for now. And we're going to take it all out to the table and figure out what we're going to use. But this is just a, what we call a wag or a wise ass guess. So we're just taking some things we might want. All right, here we've got some... We've got two different medium black cosmetics. We have an outlet version and a retail version. So we're gonna take those. We'll probably use one of them. And the other thing there, that's a jewelry travel thing. Uh, we don't need that for sure today. I'm not feeling the black and white. We do have some Kiev Paisley, but I have some other accessories in mind in the wallet closet. Um, it does have pink. So let's look at the pinks here. I have these pencil pouch trio we might use one or more of those so I'll throw that in the bag Ooh, I need three hands okay Lucy let's go put it in the closet come on okay boy the girls are being so very helpful today I have my bag full of my accessories so far let's go into the wallet closet here and see what there is that we might need as well so First thing, you gotta pick a wallet, like the centerpiece of your bag, right? I know exactly which one today, I don't always, but today I'm going straight for this um, trifold clutch wallet in Performance Twill. This is the newest one I got and I really wanna try it. Then, all right, do we need a bag charm? Yeah, probably. Uh, maybe, I don't know, let's see, put the bag up next to it, what do I feel? I think I'm going to go for this pretty backpack with the pretty light colored petite garden and I'll use it for hand sanitizer. That's one option. And I'm also kind of interested in my dinosaur. He makes noise. I know I'm sorry you can't see while I'm doing it, but so let's grab him. Oh my goodness, hush Mr. Dinosaur. All right. I don't have enough hands for this. This is not how I normally get it off. Okay, I'll get that in a minute, but just know that I'm gonna take this one and my fuzzy bunny head, and we'll figure out between those three. Let's look at keychains. I've got all these different ones that I, you can tell purples and then blacks with bright colors, that's my trend. But I'm kind of feeling this bandana swirl one. So I'm gonna grab that right off the top. Just unclips right off, throw that in the bag. Do I need a zip ID? Hmm, no. Do I need a coin purse? Hmm, maybe. I, let's do this colorful, it's got pinks and we'll do that butterfly flutter. 
Uh, a notebook. Okay, so I've got this passport wallet and it already has a slim notebook in it. So I'm going to put that in the bag. And then I usually have a tech case. So let's look at those. I've got big ones and small ones. I know the lighting is terrible in that corner, especially with me blocking it. But let's see. We've got night and day. We've got plain black. We've got chandelier noir from the outlet. We've got camel cat. Got bandana swirl. Let's take bandana swirl. We'll go with that. That's a fun one. Okay. And then alternate tech case. I'm kind of thinking I might go with this kiss kiss coin purse. We'll see. But I'm gonna throw that in there as an option as well. So we are loaded up with accessory options. And now we're gonna go to the table with the current bag and see what we end up using. Okay, so we're back at the table. We've picked up all of our potential pieces for today. And you might be wondering, well, how did I pick this bag or how do I normally pick my bag? I kind of touched on it when we went to the first part with the Vera closet where all the purses are. But this time I knew I wanted to try this small tote, medium, or um, sorry, midtown small tote, can't talk. Um, so I went straight for that knowing, knowing that that's what I wanted to try. But sometimes I'll just say, well, what am I wearing today and what matches? Or maybe I have a bag in mind and I dress to match that. But today I just wanted to try this. Coincidentally, it kind of goes with what I have on. Doesn't matter though. Totally independent of that decision today, just because I wanted this bag. So inside the bag, the things we grabbed, before we go into that, I did grab a couple other items I had to go back for because I forgot about them. So sunglasses, I live in Arizona, gotta have sunglasses. So I grabbed two of the cases in bandana swirl. That's the only two I have in bandana swirl. But I thought since I have a couple items and it's pink and black that we kind of go with that theme. So whatever sunglasses are in here is the one we'll go with, one of them. And then I also grabbed a phone case which also is bandana swirl. It's the only one I had that kind of matched today's color scheme. So it's kind of a mixy matchy day as you saw, but let's look at what else we have. So we grabbed the pencil pouch trio, which is from the paper store. This is kaleidoscope rosettes pattern. So you get your three different patterns, three different sizes, and these are the nylon thin bags. So we have that to pick from. We'll just put this stuff out here. We grabbed the RFID trifold clutch wallet in performance twill black. It has a flowery interior. So this is nice. I really wanted to try this. This is the other piece of focus for today. So we'll do that. Doesn't matter where we put it. We grabbed three different bag charms, all with the purpose of using them for a hand sanitizer. Because again, nothing to do with Corona, but I always, if you've seen myself, you know I always have a hand sanitizer. So I have this funny buzzy head from Bath and Body Works. He's just super cute. And he hangs like that and the thing goes right in there. We've got the Bitty Bag Charm in Petite Gardens, which is actually a light version of it from like the mint flowers interior. And that also has a quick release thing on it. And the third one we grabbed was the cute little dinosaur. He's like silicone or whatever. And obviously the sanitizer hangs out the bottom side and then he roars. My friend from Arkansas brought that for me when she visited last year. Anyway, okay, so then we grabbed the Kiss Kiss Coin Purse. We grabbed the Cosmetic Trio in Wildflower Garden. So we'll put that right here with the other trio. We got a tech case in Banana Swirl, a notebook in, actually it's Mini Concerto, or not even Mini, that's Concerto. And this is the older style passport wallet from the outlet side. And look, it actually fits in there. So it's actually in there, which is great. So you can kind of see where it fits in that passport slot. The newer ones are slightly smaller, so those slim notebooks don't quite fit. Other thing is, slim notebooks change sizes and then they went away entirely. So thankfully I have a few that still fit. Anyway, we grabbed a, I guess, gosh, bandana swirl is the theme. We might end up going matchy matchy. We got a keychain. We got a coin purse, butterfly flutter. We grabbed two medium cosmetics. This one is the sleek style. It has a piece of white string on it. This is the outlet version. And then we have a retail version. Oh, it just still has the tag um, cover thing on the front. The plastic. Staticky. Anyways, this one is lined with plastic. 
I haven't used this one, obviously. And it's a little bigger. So we'll see what we need. We have a big bag. We can accommodate it. We'll see what we go with. And that is it for the bag. So let's look at the bag, what we're getting into, so we know what to pack. We have a big zipper in the back. We have two slips in the front. And then it's just a big open pocket. Hold on. Someone's at the door. Hi, Zena. I'm back. Sorry about that. It was the postman with Vera Mayo. Yay. That'll be the next video. Okay, let's finish where we started, or start where we finished, wherever. Okay, so we were looking at the bag itself. It is the one that has the lock and key. We're not gonna really get into that today, um, but that's the bag. Okay, then when I sat down, I realized I'd forgotten one other thing. I've been doing a cycle of pens and pencils with my bag changes, and I did not pick any yet. So let's look at what there is. Um, let's look at what we have in the bag. The current bag was the Ink Blue Glenna which was fun, but we're changing. Quick change this time around, happens sometimes. No set interval, you just go with the gut and see what you want. Okay, so we have a mechanical pencil, a gel pen, the other kind of gel pen, highlighter, and a ballpoint pen. Um, so let's see, let's start with the ballpoint pen. That'll be our centerpiece. So we have a bunch of ballpoint pens, and then we have, let's see, where are they? A few more ballpoint pens so these are the taller version or the newer style of them so just looking at these I think the kaleidoscope one might be a good choice because the pink let's look in here because this is also the highlighter pack we'll pull that out let's see we could go with impressionista which has the Impressionista stripe with it, so that's possible. I guess I'm going with the pinkish pen style colors. We do also have somewhere in here the bandana. Oh, here's another one, Parisian Paisley. That has pink um, palms on it, I think they're called palms. I don't even know the name of this one. I think this was an interior pattern for, I don't know. Yeah forgotten uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. we do have some other pink pink but I'm not really looking to go pink this kind of is what's popping out we do have the wildflower garden this is a process guys this is what I do all the time we've got Catalina pink but I'm gonna go away from the pink pink yeah so those are the choices let's look at these and pick from them okay we have what am I feeling what are we using I I think I have a hey I know Kelly Okay, you want to help pick the pen? Which one do you want? That one? Okay. She wants Parisian Paisley. So, okay. We'll go with that. I do, it doesn't have to matchy matchy. So, we'll put these ones back and the Catalina Blues back. This one goes back in here. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Just put it right, right on the floor. Okay, let's do highlighters and salads in here. There are five colors and... We're carrying a big bag. We don't really need a highlighter. Uh, so I'm just gonna put the whole pouch in there for now. We'll put it in the pile and we'll see where it ends up. Um, okay, these we don't need. I know, Kelly. Okay, next, gel pens. I got several different, that's pencils. That's gel pens, okay. So the first style is this one. So let's go into these two kits. These, by the way, in case you're wondering, they're just little storage things. You can get them in every shape and size you can imagine. And I got them at like Office Max or something, but I'm sure you can get them elsewhere. They're actually a UK brand, I think. Plus I pulled all the stickers off. Don't know the name of them. Um, okay, so we've got some options. This is one pack. This is the Gel pens assorted set of five. <laughs> Very descriptive. Yeah, this is a, a factory style. Um, I'm kind of thinking that Floral Fiesta one in the middle. Let's see what else we have. We have purples, more purples. Yeah, no, we're not gonna go with those. We'll just put this one away since we have it out. This is the Spring 20 Medley, if you haven't seen it. It's got all the newest patterns and Seahorse, of course, goes back in there. Of course, see yours, of course, of course. So that goes in there. Ooh, we do also have some ones that came with 
the planner bonus packs. So yeah, I'm not feeling those. I'm kind of thinking Floral Fiesta. That's what we're gonna do. So we'll get that out. It's pink, but it's colorful with a black background. So we're gonna go with that. It does not match the um, Parisian Paisley, not really, but that's okay. It doesn't have to match. That's the beauty of it. We're doing a mixy day anyway. Okay, so there you go. Next, let's do this style of gel pen. We don't have to have one in there, but let's see what we got. We've got a ton of them, so quick look. I can already tell you which one we're gonna use, because I see it. Um, and it's going to be this one, which I want to say is Northern Lights, maybe? If I remember correctly. But anyway, it's pink and black. We're going with it. That was easy. And the lead or the ink is actually black. You can tell on these style of pens. The color of the stripe is the color of the ink. So you can see that this is why I have so many of them because they're all different colors. That's kind of fun. So you could actually color with them. I don't, but you can. All right, pencil. That's our last item on the list. We need a pencil. We always need a pencil. So let's see. This is your Spring 20 medley. Same as the pens, but this one's pencils. So seahorse, of course, of course. Back in there. Okay, we didn't even use that pencil, so that's fine. Let's see what we have that's open. Nothing that matches, so. Oh, but this one can go back in its case. Nah, doesn't need to. Okay, we have some purple mixes. We've got the current medley mix. Hmm. I have an idea in there. Or we have spring 19 mix. And I'm not feeling that. We do have the, the T Paisley, but I don't, no, no. We're gonna go with Garden Grove, or whichever one the pink one is. It's the, the fruit, watermelons and stuff. Get out. Okay, so there we have it. Cute pencil with the fruit. It's pink, we're going with it. It doesn't match, don't care. Okay, and then we have one more choice that I did not have in my blues, but I did have in the purples before that, and that is the click pens. So let's look if there's one we just, got. oh, I think I do. We just gotta have. We got a Scotty Dogs, lots and lots of purples. Three different sets of purple mixes. This one has pink and black. Yeah, no. We're gonna go with this one that my friend made for me, um, Carnaby Gal. She, she took um, some pattern and she makes this bulky, chunky pen, but she put the lilac medallion in there, which is of course one of my favorites because I love purple. So I'm gonna put that one in there. So that is not from Vera, you cannot buy that pen. Um, but if you're crafty, you can make it, just like she did. Okay, so that's the pens. Next up, we're just gonna take the primary bag and dump everything out, just like that. And we're gonna swap over. This is literally how I do it. So, I'm gonna take a time out, I'm gonna do some swapping, and I'll come back and show you how it turned out. Hi Zia, I'm back. Here's the final phase of the process. Um, one thing I wanted to share that I discovered when I was taking this notebook out, these slim journals, the pages, actually have perforations, so you can actually just cleanly get them out. So, yay, that's great. I took out the notes I had and that is now free for the next time. Um, these ones, the new one, don't have perforation. So this is an older style and a different size. And when I was talking about the size of them, just of note, if you haven't seen that or not familiar, that's a big difference in size when it comes to fitting or not fitting in those wallets. So everything else is the same, the width and the, the thickness, but that height, is the key factor here. Actually could be thicker, would be great, but the height is prohibitive. But the older style, which I wish they would come back out with, please Vera, come back out with these. Um, they're great. So I use it as a wallet or a notebook or passport holder, multifunctional. This one, by the way, is not RFID, so FYI. But anyway, okay. So before we put all of this in here, there's one more decision we have to make. Um, because I had two bandana swirls and that's the kind of color scheme we were going with, I grabbed both. 
but inside are two different pairs of sunglasses. So we will make the decision based on which one is inside. Let's see. They are both Vera. So we've got this one and okay. So this one had the thing and a wipe. That's fine. Let's see what we got. We have mini medallion and there's the first pair. So I'll set those down real quick. And then the other pair is, let's see, it's kind of like Christmas. Um, also, mini medallion, that's kind of funny. Kind of makes sense they're the same color thing. Okay, so which one do we want to go with? Sides, colors the same, styles are different. Let's see. Those are kind of dark, that's good. These are a little lighter. Um, you know what, I don't think I've ever used these. So I'm gonna go with these, just because. So, I will put that aside. Put them in there with this. They are now packed and ready. I'll leave the wipe out, put the other sunglasses away, and then we'll put everything in the bag and see how it fits and what we came up with. I don't know, I kind of don't mind the process. It's a little bit tedious, but it kind of reminds you what's on the shelves. It reminds you what things you like, what things you might need. For me, it's, I don't know, it's not a big deal. It doesn't take long at all, as you can see. You've seen almost every step of this process. Okay, so I'm just pushing out the seam on the bottom. I'm not worried about that being a factor because we're gonna stuff the bag anyways. Okay, so we've got the wallet, trifold clutch wallet. Turns out I do not need a coin purse because this one has the coin purse on the outside and that's perfect. So we'll just put that inside the bag. Uh, no particular order, let's just grab. Okay, sunglasses, usually go on top. We're just gonna stand everything up. I went with the tech case for the tech stuff. So what's in my bag? There's the tech stuff, including a charging battery. Then we've got the phone case. I switched to bandana swirl. That was something we forgot to show on the thing was grabbing a different case. So that'll go in the slip on the back, which fits perfectly into, you can see that. Da -da -da. Good to go. We've got some Bose headphones. I'm gonna put those in one of the slips. I've got, I changed back to the Holland Garden manicure set, and I'm gonna put that also in the other slip. I put the keychain on my truck key fob. Keys for me always go in the zipped pocket, so you usually don't have to get them out very often. Since it's keyless entry, oops, I just zipped that. All right, so that goes in there, and the other keys I just left with the shopping tag bag thing. Put that in there and zip that pocket up. Then we have the business card thing. Again, not Vera, but it's the uh, precious stones or whatever. Really cool. So I'm gonna put that with the manicure kit in the slip because it's thin enough. Uh, that's last. We've got the notebook. Doesn't fit in the slip anywhere. We're just gonna stand it up in the middle with everything else. Then we've got Kiss Kiss coin purse. Gum and mints, it fit perfectly. So I have the gum in one side and the mints and bread strips in the other side. So that's perfect and easy to find. Oh, this is getting full. All right, <laughs> we've got the medium piece of the pencil pouch trio. This is all the cosmetic type things. It's the same exact stuff that was in the other bag minus the orange gel because that was just for a one-time thing. And then I also took the coin purse that had the extra hand sanitizer out, but I put the sanitizer in and just left the coin purse out. So it all fits just perfectly in here. With room to spare, but I wouldn't want to bulk it out. Perfect. So we'll put that in there. Fits nicely. And then I used the small piece of the Cosmetic Trio in Wildflower Garden. This is cotton quilted. I put my reusable mask in there. I do kind of always try to keep that with me, even though I don't always show it in what's in my bag, but there it is. So we got that, I've got the highlighters, which for the moment I'm keeping the whole set and I will just put those next to the notebook. And then we have the bag charm. I went with the bunny because gray and black, it just kind of made sense. And then I have to decide, I think I'm gonna put it on the end. Yeah, uh, this end. We'll see how it goes, but that's where it's gonna be for now. And then the last thing is the pens. So this is kind of a full bag, but not over full. It's just a lot of crap that I'm carrying around, so it's fine. Um, so three pens and a pencil. 
And I'm just gonna put those in with the manicure kit there. I think they'll fit just fine in this pocket. Let's see if they'll clip on the side, yeah. Put on the two ends so they'll be out of the way. Oh, the manicure kit, sorry. Don't fit with the uh, headphones. But it's gonna be both. Some in one and some in the other based on size because that. Okay, so I have too many pens. That's the problem. So I'm just gonna leave it and I'll just throw this pen into the bag. That's fine. So there's a Midtown Small Tote. It is nice. It's holding its form, no problem. It stands up pretty well. It's got a little lean to it because the way I have it stacked. Inside, nice bit of pattern palooza going on, but it's like blacks with pinks and multicolor, so it is fun. It's sort of a mixy matchy, and I'm really happy with that. It zips up. It does have the capability to do the double zip, either to one side or in the middle, but then you can lock it if you want. I don't lock it. I'm just going to go all to one side, and there you go off for the day. So thanks for watching. That was kind of a fun one. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye for now.